Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. Welcome to another week of Guild War. We are against Kaikoki today, I think. They're level 12, unfortunately for them. Uh, rank 1. We are also rank 1 because... The new season has started. We're in a nominable season. And we got a bully guild war as our first guild war. So, I'm going to sort of half bully and half like try and do stuff. But I'm sort of just not going to really think too much about what I'm doing. Just throw stuff in. And if I lose, I lose. Uh, but yeah, we've got Amelia. we got Zahak. And we've got Kaeron up top. The Because I, I could mess about up top, right? But I don't want to mess it out because if I hit this Violet with anything other than Zahak, he's going to avoid it. And if he avoids it five times, he just kills one of my people, then kills my other person, then I lose. So, rather than, like, do that and lose, I'm going to lose the bottom one instead. Where I'm going to bring Bihu that hasn't had his gear changed since last week. Like, I can't really think what I want to do with him because I was going to put him on this gear that Aramimpha's got. And maybe I do on the next fight, I'm not sure. But I saw that Aramimpha had this gear and I was going to use her anyway, so I thought I might as well just leave it on her and then uh pirate captain flan to just like do extra stuff we're just gonna pray that it works if it doesn't it doesn't like the bellion might kill me but we might be fine um i mean it's one of those where it's like i care about winning but i don't care enough about winning that i'm like super bothered about doing this like really well or not give karen an attack left now kill this I mean, giving him the attack buff now probably doesn't really do anything, considering, but... It's too late, I've already done it. I mean, you never know, he might, um... Might resist. No. I gonna say, we probably just lose to this fucking landy, don't we? Oh, maybe not. We might be alright. I was gonna choke her, but... Being, like, unbuffable makes me not really want to do that. Ow. Right, killed Landy. No more tears. I should have pushed Care on there, but. Ah, oh, there we go. He did it anyway. I say he did it anyway. Now choke the small child. Like a true member of the Sith. Uh, we are faster than all of it, but yeah, this was the thing I was a little bit worried about, was um, the Sage Baal having the ability to take a turn here. If I can stun the other two, it's not so bad. No, we can't. We only got stun the says. We might just lose because of that. And this is like the thing I was worried about. But I was sort of hoping that he wouldn't have immunity on his Baal. But obviously having immunity on the Baal means that we are now perma CC'd. Yeah, we're just going to permanently be asleep. Unless we can get a stun here, but she doesn't have a um, crown on him, or does she? No burn. There's a burn. I feel like we should have got the stealth off of... Says earlier than this. Yeah, and he's going to kill Flan and it's going to kill everybody else. I'm just going to let it lose. I don't really care too much about any of these characters. I mean, be who I'd like to keep alive, but... Uh, I'll keep Bihu alive. Try again. You can't retry in this battle. Yeah, I mean, if I'd have put Bihu faster, that would have been better, honestly. But that's what I get for trying to run that burn comp against it. Um, I don't know why I full figured that about stopping the recording, but there we go. But yeah, that's one fight down. We'll go look for two more. Um, I might try and do more Bihu, but like again, with it being a bit of a throwaway guild war, it really doesn't matter too much what we end up doing with characters today. So I might just mess about like that a bit more and just see what else we do. I mean, they're not attacking yet, so whatever. Uh, we'll see what the next tower, what we decide to do on the next tower, even. There we go. So second fight of the war, we're going to hit Kirua because all of the towers are basically like low level towers. Uh, anywhere ranging from level like 10 to level 70, so I ain't seen very many 70s, so we're just gonna go for this and just get on with it, I guess. 
Um, but we're going to run Amelia. We're going to run a really badly built Vildred because I just felt like building Vildred. But I realized after I built him that I could have built him faster because I'm going to run Charlotte into Amelia. Amelia's going to push Charlotte and then we're just going to like do stuff. So if I, if Vildred could have been faster, but I'm not rebuilding him now. I can't be bothered. Uh, and we also built Destina up because I felt like it. We'll see how badly that goes. Um, Alencia because I am worried about the crowds killing my Arya, I'll be honest. And Arya because I feel like Arya should be able to like almost solo this, if not fully solo it. So we'll just we'll go over it and see what happens. More effect resistance than Mark's Origin on the mid. Yeah. It's just like getting the, the stats together is like the biggest pain in the ass, really. Like it's not super difficult, but it's like still a pain in the ass. It's like I need to look for a Goodbye. I need to look for a set of gear for Mui now that gives her like either no HP or loads of HP, but also makes her 100% crit with like decent effectiveness so she can be useful when she gets buffed. Yeah, like the problem with Arya is that like she's a bit of a uh, a bit of a pain to build up. Like it's not incredibly difficult, but it's like not super easy either. Cause you've gotta like you gotta make her tanky enough to not fall over to dumb stuff, but you've also gotta make her like do enough damage that she's like actually able to be useful. I'm glad we um brought Alencia, because Oh thank god she's going first. That's gonna heal Crow over fifty percent. Are very close, so he's probably not going to kill me now. Yeah, he's probably not going to kill Arya now. It was barely, but barely's good enough. <laughs> Bye. If we didn't bring a lens here, we could have been in trouble there. Like, if it had brought, like, another random unit that was just, like, existed, we'd have probably lost that. So, that's fucking, that would have been cringe. But yep, two towers down, one to go. See if we can find something else to hit and see what else we decide to pull out of our back pocket today. Final fight. We're going to hit this tower just to sort of prove... I mean, there is things that are uh, higher level, but just to sort of prove the point. Like, there's level 64 there. Okay, that didn't prove the point immediately, did it? There you go, like, 21 there. Uh, another 68. I mean, whatever. Look, I'm just going to hit this one because I've been sat on this one for like 20 minutes while I've been talking about how bad I tie when it's, so I'm just going to hit this. I don't care. Call me bully if you want because that's literally what we're doing anyway, so who cares? But yeah, so we might lose the bottom fight because I'm being dumb, but we might be okay. So we're going to run Amelia, we're going to run Builder, and we're going to run Shallow up top again because um, I'm a glutton for punishment and I just want to fucking die to this Straza, I guess. So we're going to see how bad that goes. And the bottom team, we're going to bring Balsas on. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, he's built for... for tree boss that I don't fight. Ning Ning to push Balsas on, even though she's going to push the Senya. I don't know she is. And Senya to do counter-attack stuff and taunts and just stuff, I guess. And we'll just see how it goes, because, like, honestly, I don't really care. So we'll just we'll see how it goes. Let's finish Guild War as soon as we can. Dot JPEG. Push the Charlotte. Kill the Straz. I just really like Charlotte. She's cool. Kill the Cez. And maybe the Charlotte, but probably not. You know what I forgot? Cez is invulnerable to death on the first hit because he's got the 50% HP passive and I keep forgetting that they gave him that. That's like actually a thing that says has now, right? Is that he takes 50% maximum damage and that's it. Because I completely forgot that was even a thing and I'm sure he got that in like the last update so people would use him more. I'm not going to say that's why I lost the other fight because it's definitely not. But... I am going to say, at the very least, that that would be 
a factor as to why I could have lost it. That, to be fair, I had bands in that top fight, so I think it'd have been fine. Are you ready, my lady? That Yuffie feels a bit tanky. I'm just going to do this to get more debuffs on him. And because I don't want to attack him. To be fair, Bal's not getting a turn, so... Yeah, she just killed herself on my rock hard abs again. I should use Senya more often because she's funny, but... I just don't like using her. But yeah, that is Guild War. It's a nice and easy start to the new season, which is always nice. Unfortunately, a nice and easy start to the new season means that we're going to win really hard. And because we're going to win really hard, we are going to go against a top 50 guild pretty much tomorrow uh, on Wednesday, most likely. Which means the next guild war, you're going to see me get absolutely killed for real reasons rather than fake ones like taking a bad team into a Sage Ball. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I shall see you on Wednesday for the next one.